this, I don't know what number of uh, times I've visited this Planned Parenthood, um, but it has been several. And to show my continued commitment to reproductive health care, I have visited all the Planned Parenthood clinics in my district, including that little one over there on San Juan Island as well. And I've been public about it, I want people to know about it, I want them to know about it, and we're not, uh, like uh, me, you, we're not going to shy away from supporting health care as a human right. And so, um, I'm really glad to be here today. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, I, I was thinking about uh, what I might say today, and I was thinking about the idea of, uh, you know, if it's flu season and you go to the doctor, the doctor is not going to tell you that uh, there's a few things I can help you with to prevent you from having a flu, but I, I can't tell you. If you break your, if your kid breaks her arm playing soccer and you take her to the doctor, the doctor says, well, there's a few ways I can help fix that, but I, I can't tell you. And if you're 54 like me and your knees are starting to give out and you go to the orthopedic surgeon, and he says, um, well, there's something I can do to help you with your knee, but uh, I, I can't tell you. Okay. Gag rules don't make any sense. Gag rules make me gag, so it's a really good name for it, actually. <laughs> but putting a gag rule on, me on necessary medical health care is dangerous, it is unethical, and when we get done with this administration, we will show in the courts it is illegal. Yeah. So, I want to tell you a, a, a personal story um, in, in that uh, um, in 19, let me take you back to 1996. Some of you weren't around then, some of you were. And in 1996, uh, my wife and I had been married for uh, two years, uh, actually at this time a little, about a year and a half uh, by that time. And we both had separate health care and not very, not great health care, but you know, health care insurance anyway, but not good enough health care. And in early 1996, my wife, Tia, who's standing right here. Right here. Well, she uh, um, uh, went to get a test, a pregnancy test, to find out if uh, she was pregnant. And in fact, we found out that through this pregnancy test that we were, uh, she was pregnant, I, we. And I was along for a ride, and she, she, she was pregnant with our, our first son. And that pregnancy test, because our insurance was not very good, that pregnancy test was conducted by the local Planned Parenthood Clinic in Everett. So there's a reason we stand with Planned Parenthood in our household, because Planned Parenthood was there for us, and we think we are obligated to be there for Planned Parenthood yeah. as well. And I really want to emphasize that to folks, because there are Leachy mentioned 90,000 men and women in this state who are able to use Planned Parenthood services for a variety of needs, a variety of healthcare needs. It's mostly women, but guys out there, you need to be standing up as well for Planned Parenthood and speaking out. Just as strongly, just as strongly. Planned Parenthood provided the reproductive health care services we needed at the time. But while we did not have to rely on Title X funding, many people do. Nearly 80% of women who've used Planned Parenthood clinics have an income at or below 150% of the federal poverty level. It's not a lot of money, and we need to be supporting those folks. And this administration is committed. It ought to be committed, but it is committed to making it so low-income folks and uninsured people cannot access these services. That's another reason why we need to stand up. Harming the ability to affordable, um, reproductive and preventive healthcare services is wrong. Uh, we need to be uh, loud and proud in saying so. Yes. Now, we need to fight. We need to fight together to protect 10. We need to fight. We need to fight together to ensure women can access quality healthcare and reproductive needs and protect 10. We need to stand together to protect funding for family planning services and Planned Parenthood and protect 10. And we need to stand with Planned Parenthood and the millions of people who depend upon this organization 
the thousands that depend upon it in this state, the hundreds that depend upon it here in Bellingham and Whatcom County. And we need to protect 10. And that's why we're here tonight. That's why I'm here tonight, why Tia's here tonight. We stand with you. Thank you very much. Yeah.